Thank you, Deputy Jones. In the Murray case, <clears throat> the defendant, Dr. Murray, is present with counsel as before. The people are represented by counsel as before. All jurors and alternates are present as before. Good afternoon again and once again to the jurors and everybody else. Thank you for your patience. Mr. Chernoff. Sherilyn Lee, Judge. Thank you. <clears throat> Miss Lee, would you please stand in the witness box? <clears throat> Please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly state that the testimony you may give in the cause now pending before this court shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes. Please be seated. Please state your name for the record. Spell your first and last names. First name is Cherylyn, C-H-E-R-I-L-Y-N. Last name is Lee, L-E-E. -E. Ms. Lee, good afternoon. Let me provide you with some instructions, which I give to every witness in every case. Yes. The first, please sit back and relax. The second, please speak loudly so we can hear you. The third, please answer a question yes or no if called upon rather than using slang. And the last, please wait until you hear an entire question before you even start to answer it, even though you may think you know what the question asked. Is that all acceptable? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Direct, Mr. Chernoff. Thank you, Judge. You're welcome. Ms. Lee? Yes. Uh, what do you do for a living? I am a um, holistic practitioner. I am a nurse practitioner. And what I do, I have an integrated clinic where I see people and treat them on a nutritional basis. What is a, uh, a nurse practitioner, Ms. Lee? A nurse practitioner is basically you have to be an RN first, and then you become, a, after further education, you become a nurse practitioner. Uh, it, it, what would be the difference um, uh, in, in what a nurse practitioner would do than an RN? Well, a nurse practitioner, uh, things are sort of changing a lot in that field now, but nurse practitioners can uh, run and operate a clinic. I do have a uh, medical director so we do we can uh, open and operate a clinic and mine is basically just nutrition and dealing with natural remedies and supplements how long have you been doing that off and on for about um, I guess 15 20 years okay. and you You've actually helped quite a, quite a few people during that time, haven't you? Oh, most definitely. Yeah. And um, you you work with sports people. Exactly. Yes, and and entertainers. Yes. Yes. Um, <coughs> a, a, does it with it, legally can a nurse practitioner prescribe medications? Legally, a nurse practitioner can. I choose not to, because I don't like what medication does to people and there's usually a natural remedy for it. How, how is it that a nurse practitioner can do that uh, if, without a medical license? What is your understanding of your... I, I am ability? board certified. Do you have to associate with a doctor to do that? As a nurse practitioner? Yes. No. Okay. Uh, what, what are the limitations of the medicines that you're able to prescribe? I mean, if you had chose to, of course, but what, what are the limitations? In honesty, I don't even investigate them because I don't choose to give medication. You, you have prescribed medication in the past, right? Well, I, yeah, and yes. Antibiotics, for instance? Antibiotics. Um, but other than controlled substances, are you able to no, prescribe? No, absolutely not. Uh, well, it's a yes. good question. It's sort of a bad question. may not question. get the answer. Yes. Go ahead. You, you are not allowed to prescribe controlled substances, right? No. Okay. So that's correct. You're not allowed? I'm not allowed to. Okay. Correct. But other medicines you're allowed to? Yes. All right. During your period of time at, uh, with, with this clinic as a nurse practitioner, and I'm, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on the clinic, but during this period of time that you have been running this clinic, did you have occasion to meet Michael Jackson? 
Did you meet Michael Jackson? Yes, I did meet him, yes. Okay. Not in the clinic, but okay. yes. Where did you meet him? I met him at his home. How is it that you uh, were wound up being at his home? Well, I had a call from a dear friend of mine. Her son uh, is one of the security for Michael Jackson. Who, who was it that called you? Fahim. Fahim Mohammed? Yes. Okay. Can I have some water, please? Absolutely. Do you want to wait a moment, or are you okay to continue? Uh, I'd like to wait a moment and have some water. Sure. Okay. Could we please, Mrs. Pence? Can I bring her up? Uh, we have our own. Okay. All right. Give us a moment. Thank you. You're welcome. May I sit down, Judge, then, while sure. we wait? I also... I was going to say, if you sit down, you can't drink. talk because we can't hear you. So that's the trade-off, you should turn off. Yeah. Deal. Uh, <clears throat> Mrs. Benson, Deputy Jones, thank you. Thank you very much. You tell us when you're ready, uh, Ms. Lee. I'm ready. I just need to wet my throat. Okay. Just to turn off. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Um, Fahim Muhammad, you said, called you? Yes, Fahim Muhammad. How long have you known Fahim Muhammad? I've been knowing him for greater, I know, than five years. His, okay. mom, his mother's a dear friend. Okay. And, and what is it that, uh, uh, what did Fahim Muhammad tell you that caused you to, to act to come to the house? Mahim, Fahim Muhammad gave me a call, and he said that uh, Michael's children had a slight cold and could I come to the home to see them? And I said, well, keep in mind, you know, I'm not a pediatrician and I'm not a physician. So um, he said, no, he, he's aware of that. I told him who you were, how you have helped so many people in the community. And he gave him a little bit about my background and the things I have done as far as health care. And, and so um, that's how I met him. And then I set an appointment and I went to the home to see the children, and Michael was there. Mr. Could, Jackson was there. Could you tell us what, what, what date this was? <laughs> I can tell you it was the latter part of January of 2009. Do you, would, it, would your medical records help you Yes, and I, I did bring a copy of my records, and they, they do reflect everything that I've done. It's been noted and charted. Okay. Well, do you have a copy of it? Yes, I do. Will you please tell us when you received this call? I, I left it in my bag, if I can... Get it from my back. Judge, may, may she? You may, please. Thank you. Well, uh, we can get it to you. Oh, I thought you had it there. Oh, I'm sorry. It's in the back? No, we'll bring it to you. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I didn't want to put sorry. anybody to any extra work. Thank you for your patience. The question is? The, the date that you were called out to the house. Can we go to the next question and I find it? Okay. Um, oh, thank you. 
How, how, how were the kids? Did they have a cold? The kids that have... Excuse me, I don't know if we got to the date. No, she wanted me to go on. Um, I, I, well, that's up to you. Well, I, I, I have the date of when I first started seeing Mr. Jackson. Uh, the date I was at the home, I know it was, I think it was the last, had to be the last date in January. Because I saw him, because I went back. Okay, so January yeah. 2009? Yes. Okay, that's close enough. Yes. So you went out to the house. Uh, yes. Did you make an appointment or did you go that very day? Uh, made an appointment because okay. Mr. Jackson would definitely want an appointment made. So well, an appointment was made for me. Okay. Well, and I go to the home. Yes. So you made an appointment to go see the children? The children, yes. Yes. Okay. Was it the next day? Was it two days later? It was actually the next, it was the same day because he said they had a cold and he wanted someone to see them right away. So. All right. And did you go see the children? Yes, I did. All right. Did you treat them for their cold? Yes. I made sure I took everything with me so that I can, I didn't know the uh, condition of the children. So I made sure I took everything with me to do lab work and throw cultures. So I took everything with me to assess children properly. And you did that? I did that, yes. At uh, some point during that meeting with the children, did you have occasion to speak to Michael Jackson? Yes, I did. Okay. And this is the first time you'd ever spoken to him? Yes. Uh, did you talk to him about any problems he might be having? Uh, no. What he said was to me is, what do you do? Uh, and I said, well, you have a concern about something? And he said, I've just been tired, a little tired. And I said, well, you know, I do nutrition and nutritional therapies. And he said, well, can you start me on some therapies? And I said, well, yes, but I don't start anyone on any therapies until I do the lab work first. And so I told him I can come back the next day. He would have to fast that night uh, from 12 midnight to the next morning, and I would come back the next day and I would draw his blood to do lab work first. Did you come back the next day? I certainly did. Okay, and what day was that? That was February... <coughs> first. Okay. Mm -hmm. February 1, this was at his house? Of 2009, yes. Okay, and this was at his house as well? Yes. All right. Well, you came back, and now you have you were going to discuss with him um, any medical complaints. Any you're going to take some assessment of him. Is that right? Most definitely. If okay. a person give me a vague symptom of I'm tired, then I want to rule out everything that possibly could cause that. You know, um, you could be overworked. It could be many things that can cause tiredness. But so that's why I said I need to do the lab work first. All right. Now, in your assessment. Um, what, what things did you do to, to make that assessment? I did uh, a physical exam. I did his, um, drew his blood, and I ordered certain panels to rule out anything that can cause a person to feel fatigued and tired. Certain what now? Panels? Blood tests. Blood tests, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, did you also do an interview with him? Oh, yes. Okay. And part of that interview was that... Um, uh, did you ask him about medications he was taking? Yes, and actually what is called not so much an interview as I did a history and physical. Okay, and, yes. and that helps you determine that maybe... Exactly, you... yes. Hey, member, got to wait. Please ask the whole <laughs> I'm question. I'm sorry. That's all right. It helps you determine, you know, what, what could be causing this fatigue or this tiredness. Yes. Did, in your analysis, did you ask Michael Jackson about his sleep patterns? Well, in... On February 1st of 2009, he wasn't really talking a lot about his sleep pattern. But you, you did provide him uh, a survey form, a symptom survey form. Oh, yes. Right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you provided him, um, um, I, you asked him other questions. Is yeah, quite right? a few questions. I'm pretty thorough. Right, you're, yes, you have to be thorough, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, one of, the, one of the things you said he complained of uh, when you first spoke to him was tiredness. It, during your examination, subsequent examination, he talked about fatigue, easily fatigued? Yes. All right. And, um, and in fact, uh, the, you went, a part of your analysis is you asked him to list the five main physical complaints. Yes, I did. And that's part of what you do in your thorough analysis. That's on one of my forms, yes. And. Uh,